And and if you look at examples of Web3 failures, you can trace the failure all the way back to the initial logic. Like Axie Infinity, the reason Axie Infinity failed isn't because they got hacked, although the hack was ridiculous. It's like a $600 million hack. It's not because they got hacked. It's not because they didn't implement it well. It's not because they got unlucky. It's because on paper, they just created a Ponzi scheme. (laughs) Like Ponzi schemes blow up for a while and then they crash. Like that is what happens. And you didn't have to run the experiment. You could have just looked at the blueprints for experiment and realized it was a Ponzi scheme and realized that blockchain technology had nothing to offer besides implementing a Ponzi. It was just an implementation layer of a Ponzi, which you don't need blockchain technology. You could do a Ponzi on web too.